What's up YouTube? I'm Vinny from Roadblast Media and today this video is going to be on how to correctly clean and re-lube your chain. So I've already pre-loosened some of these bolts here on this um, little uh, crankcase here so we're just going to remove that so we can get into the uh, more sort of intimate parts of the bike. And um, yeah, so the, just on this video is just going to be a little tutorial. It's it's a pretty basic job, but you know, it's still good to watch a video first and kind of know what you're up to. So yeah, we just first of all we start off by loosening these little bolts here. I've already pre-loosened them, so I can just wind them out with my hand. But uh, KTM supplier toolkit with the bike that has all the correct tools that you need to uh, remove these sort of casings. And um, yeah, so. It's already all there it's all sweet and uh, if you're doing this job and you're doing it in your garage or something or maybe you have some carpet down we have carpet outside because we just like that but yeah it's garage carpet which is like plastic base and the degreaser would probably damage that carpet so you want to get some sort of like carpet box put a newspaper in there put it underneath so it catches any drips and things like that just something to be aware of so yeah, once we've removed all of these, it should just come away and it reveals what you got, got going on here. And as you can see, this is the first time it's come away. There's a lot of grease up in there, which is fine, but you want to you clean all that out, you know? So, yeah. So, now that we've got that away, it's kind of the only bit of wrenching you need to do for this job. We're also going to give this a bit of a clean. Um, so you get your, you get your degreaser here, I got a little, uh, little pack here for, um, 60 bucks, and this, this just, you know, it's basically loosens up all the grease, and you can kind of get real in there, so first what you want to do is you just want to, sweet, now that we got that all greased up, you get your, chain cleaning brush here and you can kind of there's a few places you can do it I'm gonna do it down here at the, the rear of the chain and you can just move it along and and it's best to get a paddock stand for your bike because this job is near on impossible if you don't have one because the KTM RC390 only comes with a side stand obviously it's like a race bike you don't want that bloody rear stand getting involved there but the Royal Enfield that we have already has its own uh, rear stand which is bloody handy so yeah And it's always good to keep up your chain maintenance regularly. Um, definitely lubing your chain probably about every five to eight hundred kilometers, depending on the specs of your bike, and cleaning the chain whenever you see necessary. Really, I mean, you just want it to be um, clean enough. Like if there's a whole lot of gunk getting up in there, then you don't want that because that can cause damage to your uh, sprocket and your chain and things like that. And if you want to prolong, prolong the longevity of your chain, then you keep up with maintenance and. A really cheap and easy job can save you a lot of money in the future which is really good now this is a way to do it where you can sort of avoid taking apart you know the whole bloody mechanism things like that obviously that's more effective but we're just doing a quick quick little clean job here and um just getting all that shit out crap i mean this thing's only been it's only got about 4,000 k's on the clock and it you know it's already pretty bad so you want to you want to make sure to really get up in there and really get rid of all that crap and grease out of there so it doesn't get all, you know, stranded and doesn't damage your chain in the long run. So yeah, once you've given that a good little scrub up, then you hit it again with the old uh, degreaser.
Now this is something you only need to do every now and again, but it, it is crucial to keeping the bike mint, just to keep that, these areas sort of clean and lubed regularly. As you do not want this stuff to end up catching up on you. Okay, so that's looking much cleaner than before, as you can see. I haven't gotten all of it, but it's a, it's a good bit of progress there. And uh, the degrease is really handy because it gets in those tight, sort of hard to reach places with a bit of high pressure uh, solvent on there. Make sure you get in behind here and get rid of all of the gunk and grease, things like that. Okay, back with rags, just to give it a bit of a bit of a wipe down and get that residue off. A bit of cheesecloth always works well. It doesn't really get affected by the, uh, the solvent and things like that. You can get in there nice and neatly. If you're using a rag like this and it has a bit of lint and stuff, you kind of want to keep it away from the sprocket area. You don't want shit like that getting stuck in there. So, you know, you just go around it, get all the engine sort of stuff and all the orange, you know, kind of wipe all that away, get it while it's still dry, like still a bit wet from the degreaser. And, um, yeah, makes it a bit easier. Still got a bit of a build up there. See where yeah. <laughs> this stuff does get mucky if you don't take care of it, so it's good I'm getting on to this. Thanks to lockdown, I've got a lot of extra time. Spray around, get some back stuff. Be liberal with this shit. The goal is to get this thing back as good as new and, you know, all sorted out there. So that's, I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. That's looking pretty good. Just, um, make sure you wipe up all your other areas, otherwise you're going to have a lot of dried up, sort of degreased grease on there and all the grit and grime will just dry up and it won't look nice. So you want to get a rag, a decent little rag and kind of clean up all that sort of area. Make sure you get it all good. Don't want your nice orange frame to be looking subpar. So that's one of the nicest parts about this bike is the blimmin' orange. Cool. Now we get the loop. So you get your extreme chain high tech grease or whatever your bike's specifications recommend. This is a good brand and it's nice and cheap. So yeah, with this high powered lube, if you want to get it up and up and all there, get it especially on your chain and just kind of spray it in there. Get it all nicely coated. Lubing is the most important part. If you forget to do this, then your chain will dry out, become brittle and not great. You know, you won't, it just won't be very ideal to ride with a chain that's only been degreased. Make sure you've got all your chain. Best, best place to do it is here because it kind of stays away from your important bits. You're not getting grease all over your tire and things like that. That could end in serious problems. So, get a good coating on there. Be liberal with the shit. It's only going to be nice for your chain. And yeah, that's basically it. You just got to clean up some of the grease that you get on other things and give it a little final clean up. And then you make sure to give this a clean up before you put it back on, which is very basic. You just clip it up there like, like so, pull the bolts, and you're done. 
thanks for watching this video hope this helped and subscribe and like to see more videos like this i'll be coming out with some more how-to videos in the future of like different problems that i approach with this bike different cosmetic parts that i'll be putting on i'll do a tutorial on how to install a slip-on exhaust and things like that as well um so yeah like and subscribe stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching